Hi, how's it going? So this video is titled, What does it mean when water is denser as a liquid than as a solid? Have you ever tried making ice the old fashioned way using an ice tray? You'd pour water into all 20 or so pockets and stop right at the point where the water perfectly fits in, keeping it separate from its other neighboring pockets of water in the tray. You carefully place it into the freezer overnight and you swear you placed it perfectly leveled. The next morning, you wake up and have that cool glass of ice and water. But you notice as you remove the ice tray from the freezer, all your ice cubes have swollen up over the top and are now touching each other, forming one cohesive group of ice cubes all touching and connected on the surface, until you break it apart. Okay, so you just realized that as water becomes a solid ice, it starts to expand. You might be asking though, so what? So what's so special? about that. Let's take a look at this from a different point of view, a more general sense. Usually, this doesn't happen with other liquid substances. When you heat up a substance, the molecules that make it up become more active. They start to move more and collide with one another in greater force. And logically, this makes sense because as you turn a frozen substance into liquid, you have to add heat. The frozen substance begins to break apart and turn to liquid. If you add even more heat, there's a good chance that that liquid becomes gas, and then you really start to see expansion. But with water, this isn't the case. When it transitions from liquid to ice, or ice to liquid, it's quite the opposite. Water expands as it starts from liquid to ice, and it compacts itself together as it goes from ice to liquid. Kind of weird, huh? So why does this happen? The answer is found on a molecular scale, specifically focused on hydrogen bonds. Here goes the explanation. So as water turns to ice, its hydrogen bonds from water to water begin to crystallize, forming these repeated lattice structures. Lattice is defined as a structure consisting of strips of wood or metals across and fastened together with squares or diamond-shaped spaces left in between. In this case, we're talking about the fastening of these hydrogen bonds spreading out to form a lattice with spaces left in between. These lattice structures become hardened, creating a fairly inflexible spread it out structure, creating more separation between water molecule. However, when water is a liquid, its hydrogen bonds are free to swivel, turn, and press onto each other, and press onto each of the other bonds. A lot of this has to do with hydrogen bonding being so weak. And so you see continuous hydrogen bonds breaking and forming throughout water, the liquid form. So overall, as a liquid, hydrogen bonds are less frequent than if it were a solid ice state. And since in liquid state, water is bouncing and rubbing off of each other, and you begin to realize that water in the liquid form is actually more condensed, dense, than when you compare it to the ice state. Another cool fact about this property is that if water didn't behave this way and that it behaved more like other liquids and solid substances, there'd be a good chance that survival on this planet would be pretty difficult. If you live in a cold area where lakes become frozen, you'd know that underneath those frozen lakes is a body of liquid water. Now because ice water is lighter, meaning less dense than liquid, it actually stays afloat on top of the water. The surface tension of water is often able to keep ice floating. To learn more about the surface tension, check out my other video called Cohesion, Adhesion, and Surface Tension to learn more. If ice didn't float, it would instead sink to the bottom of the lakes and the bodies of water and eventually freeze up the entire lake as more and more ice forms on the top and sinks downward. Imagine if this occurred in an entire ocean. And if this happened everywhere, then you can guess how the water's ecosystem of small lakes would have a tough time surviving the winters and how drastic survivability would change for all walks of life on Earth. Will we still be here? Who knows? So how was that? Did you like the video? Did you learn anything new? Did I miss anything? Comment below and let me know what you think would happen if ice started to sink to the bottom of water. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I release a video each and every week. And make sure you share this channel with a struggling friend. Thanks for watching. Peace.